Um, so let me ask you, what does black history mean to you? It means a lot, especially being from America. This is my first time over here. Oh, wow. So coming over here and realizing like it's not that much different. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. So I just want to ask you, I mean, what does black history mean to you? Black history means a lot of things. Like okay. It's just, you know, for the culture and the... Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I am in Hackney. Now Hackney is definitely a cultural diverse neighborhood. In fact, it's known for having popular places of interest like the Hackney Empire, which is a theater and you'll have amazing performances there. Also the Hackney Street Market. You also have the Hackney Carnival, which happens every year. So it's definitely an amazing place to visit. Today I'll be checking out the Bohemian Market area and seeing what the market is like in this area. These are some of the places you may not see on TV. So if you're new around here, welcome to the channel. I'll appreciate it if you can do me a favor, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for your custom. Peace. So I'm currently walking towards the Bohemian Market right now here in Hackney. There's an event going on there this week. In fact, the market is open every week actually, um, every Saturdays and I think sometime during the week, some most days during the week the market is open. But let's see what the market has to offer. It's known as the Bohemian Market in Hackney. So let me show you what I'm actually seeing on these streets that I'm walking right now. So right now you can see I'm walking towards the Bohemian Market. You have a few shops, popular shops like uh, the Marks and, Sp Marks and Spencer. That's a popular supermarket which you can see all over the UK. A popular feature what you see in areas like this is what you're seeing on your right there. This is someone preaching. Um, I'm sure he's preaching about the Bible and so on. So you see a lot of that in areas like Hackney. So it's a nice day, it's a Saturday and you can see a lot of people are out doing their weekly shopping and you know going and enjoy some of the uh, activities that are in the area. So I'm not going to walk down the high street this way, we're going to head in to the Bohemian Market which is on the left here. Now you can easily come to the Bohemian Market if you go to Hackney Central train station that will lead you about two minutes walk to the Bohemian Market so definitely if you wanted to know how you can get there that's the Hackney Central on the overground line and that will take you right to this place that we are going to check out right now. Let's get on and let's do it. So immediately we're seeing the sign right there, the Bohemian Market open today. And from what I'm seeing, you know, it's a nice chill vibes. I'm seeing a lot of different stalls, people selling things. Music is being played. It's a good mixture of people in the environment right now. People selling head wraps, there's drinks. Now one thing you gotta remember, um, every October in the UK there's something called Black History Month and I guess it, it celebrates the history and the achievement of people who are black in the UK and across the world. In the United States of America it's every February I believe but in the UK it's every October. So I guess we'll be seeing a lot of um, stalls which is uh, you know black businesses in the UK that are advertising and promoting their various products that we're seeing right here so we just walk around and then after we will really get the opportunity to, to perhaps talk to some people but this is what the market looks like it's a nice chill vibe here today a lot of things I'm seeing if you look over there on my left this guy is doing barbecue chicken some people call it jerk chicken definitely a lot of things to eat people are literally just sitting down chilling you know
So these are all businesses you can see to my left. And it range from cosmetics, people are selling perfume, people are also selling, you know, health products. I can see like Moringa over there and different things like that. So there's a lot of different things going on. I hope you are enjoying the vlog so far. I'm really trying to give you a good understanding of some of the places here in the UK that you can certainly visit whenever you are in England and definitely Hackney is one of those places you can check out it has a, a rich history especially with people from different parts of the world that actually made this area home and they have brought their culture here so this is something that you may want to learn about and really check out so let's see what it's about Okay, wow, it's quite busy. A lot of the traders are quite occupied. You can see the queue, look at the line here. There's a lot going on. Um, you can see here there's different books. I am enough. So they have a lot of different books here. New Daughters of Africa, things like that can be found here. So definitely something is available for the kids if you were to visit this market. And I believe um, every Friday, Saturday, for the, uh, for the, um, until the end of the month, these type of uh, stores will be quite visible here in the area. So you right? Good, yeah, I'm okay. So I just want to ask you, I mean, what does black history mean to you? Black history means a lot of things. It's, okay. It's just, you know, for the culture and the, a lot of, well, obviously our people just been through a lot of stuff. So yeah. it's good to have that sort of vibe to basically show that we're as one you know, okay, so okay. together and stuff like that so. but yeah it's just deep where you, the conversation can go long yeah yeah you know, so. so i mean just to sum up would you say it's actually now about togetherness as a people yeah, and you know yeah, moving so forward everyone, yeah everyone can see that we're together and you know the people just Good vibe. Good vibe. Yeah. Okay, so I've come down to the market today. I noticed yeah. there's a lot of black businesses really promoting their amazing products. Mm. What do you think about the vibes at the market this year yeah, for Black History Month? The vibe is good. It's been this this market's been there before Black History Month. You know? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's always been good. It's growing now as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's always gonna get better. It's gonna get bigger. All right. Yeah, then. Yeah. I mean, do you, are, are you promoting anything? Are you selling, or are you just? Uh, I'm not through? selling, but I help promote. I help promote um, okay. through the bits and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, like if you know the main yeah, person yeah. that looks after the things, so I help promote and just spread it across my social media and stuff like that. Okay, nice. So if yeah, you was to recommend a business for me to definitely check out here today, which one would you recommend for me to check out? All of them. All of them. All yeah. All, of them. <laughs> All, All right. I like no, that. No special. No special. Yeah. All right then. Well, thanks for talking to me, brother. Yeah, and you have a good day, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. So you definitely see. Um, you know, it's not just about like they said only Black History. This market's been around for quite a long time, and um, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of um, games. This one seems to be something to do with like languages. So, for example, um, if you see here, there is something called. Uh, Yoruba, Ga, Tri, and these are languages which are found in Ghana. So I'm going to wait for the brother to finish talk, and I'll definitely check him out and see what his business is definitely about in a minute. Excuse me, sorry to disturb you. I realize you're busy with your amazing drink there. Um, I'm just asking people, you know, what they think about the vibe at the market for Black History this month, this year. So, do you mind being on camera to answer those questions? Yeah, no All right, and nice. So, finally, someone again <laughs> that don't mind being on camera. I really appreciate your time. Um, so, let me ask you, what does Black History mean to you? 
it means a lot especially being from america this is my first time over here oh wow so coming over here and realizing like it's not that much different it's okay really special for me. wow also from america what 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 state miami I'm oh miami Florida. in yeah. the house okay <laughs> i heard it's lit down there yeah it's something <laughs> okay okay so how do you feel about the vibe in the uk in comparison to miami I think it's great. I mean, I feel like it's more of city living, kind of like a New York or yeah. like in like a DC maybe. But yeah. I like it. There's something for everybody here, so always okay. something going on. Okay, that's nice. So you, which which stores really impress you at the market here today? Which one you really like at the I moment? I like Doreen's homemade uh, rum cake. Okay. It was very nice. She told me about her mom. I asked about the picture and how she got the recipe from her mom. Okay. Um, I also really like what. I think it was back there. Okay. I had some mac and cheese and some salt fish fritters. That was really good. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I really appreciate this Wemba, by the way. I'm Christian. Nice to meet you, Christian. Now, oh, you want to say something? No, no, no. I'm Christian. I'm the owner of Sea Coco Books. Okay. Uh, I'm working with my colleague, Michael Harper, and we produce educational learning resources. Okay. That's amazing. Now, what I wanted to ask you is, um, I've noticed I'm seeing right here you have tree yoruba these are of course um west african languages so what is the you know the goal behind promoting these languages what you're trying to achieve so i'm going to name myself okay uh, akwaba. akwaba yeah uh, and at home the language wasn't really spoken that much right until i flew over to ghana okay i went to school in ghana for right. a year and also okay and i picked up the language a bit more i came back and i'm picking children here in the same situation probably need a bit of a Start. Okay. So I started a road to tree with my dad. Okay. Um, and, I, and when I went to Ghana, oh, yeah. I went to Ghana. My friends, my friends are Nigerian. Okay. I love to embrace my friends. So we got together. We yeah. Went to Yoruba. Okay. I hope to probably one day speak every African language. Every girl, if you can, yeah. All right. Uganda, Shona, uh, Swahili. Okay. Alza, okay. All right. And um, you know, in schools they're speaking. Spanish, German, yeah, so, even Chinese. Okay. I want to uh, encourage our children to speak African languages. Okay. Uh, and I came along with my colleague. He okay. designs all the books for me. Okay. Exactly. He designs. Um, and yeah, so that's that's why I'm here today. So if, even if you're not um, an African speaker, yeah. You want to learn African languages, get involved. Okay, so definitely yes. so the, the material you're selling here will promote the learning of these African languages. Yeah. Do, do you promote any other African language apart from tree and Yoruba, for example, Swahili? Swahili, yeah. Uganda, okay. Ndebele, Shona, wow. uh, Lingala, Zulu, everything. everything. That, that is really amazing. So, quick question. If people really want to find out more, to learn more, perhaps order some of these books, where can they find you? Seacoco.com. All right, guys. I hope you've seen that. That's it right there. Seacoco.com. Okay. MichaelHarper.com. MichaelHarper.com. Okay. Amazing. Okay. And you do you deliver only in the UK or is it worldwide? Worldwide. Worldwide. So guys, you've heard that. If you're really interested in learning the African languages and also just general learning as well, especially for children, you can definitely check them out. Brother, can I have a, a card? Please. Yeah. I'll definitely um, check you guys out. I think I've seen you on Instagram before. Let's connect. So we'll connect. Um, my YouTube channel is Inspire for Travel. And I'll add you as well on the Instagram. Nice meeting you, brother, yeah? And all the best. All right. So yeah, African languages. We're seeing that it's being preserved. And, you know, a lot of people these days are interested in language learning. So we're definitely seeing that right here with that stall that we just saw there. Well, 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 like, guys, first I'm seeing sorrel health juice, and I know sorrel is quite a popular drink in the Caribbean and some other parts of the world. So, um, I've met a sister here, um, I believe it's your business. Yeah. Um, what's your name? My name's Roxy. Okay, nice to meet you, Roxy. My name is Wemba. And can you tell us a little bit about what you're selling here today? Okay, so... We do hot pepper sauces. Okay. All our sauces are homemade. Okay. Natural ingredients, no preservatives, no additives. It's just natural. Okay. Um, made with love. Made with love. Flavors. Right. The newest flavor out today is smoked barbecue. Smoked barbecue. With whiskey. Okay. Wow. We have mango, pineapple, and apple rum. Right. We have kiwi. Okay. Um, 
yeah, so these are the sauces, and then we do like the bundles. All right. We buy the bundles. They're the bundles. So right. What to buy? Okay. Um, we also do jams. Jams. And bake, but today this is what we have. Okay. Um, and we're just launching. The coffee, right? Blue Mountain coffee, because as you know, right. They're only in the big super. In big stores like Harvey Nichols, You're right. Fortnum and Mason. Okay. And um, so now we're just launching, as I said. Right. So, yeah, and, but we're doing it in coffee bags. Coffee bags, so okay. Mountain coffee bags. All right. And two different strengths, medium and strong. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can find us at Roxas of London. Okay. Online. Right. And um, yes, also, yes. And we're doing like the sorrel. Small bottles of sorrel also. Wonderful. We also sell. Tea bags. Oh wow! You can have, have it as a tea as well. Okay, if you don't mind me asking you about the sauce. So, for example, this sauce here, how would they use that? Is it for cooking, or they'll just use no, it as a spread? Add it. So we've done cards now. Where we give you a guide on as to how right. how to use it. So we do it in the peppers with. So this is nice with eggs, like poached eggs. Okay. It's nice with salmon. Right. And avocado. Right. The classic tomato, you can have that with everything. Just right. Like on your rice and your chicken, spaghetti okay. bolognese. Okay. Things like that. All um, right. Kiwis good with salads, things like that, because it's got that lemony, citrus flavour. Okay. The mango sauces are quite sweet. And um, the barbecue is lovely with chips. Okay. And, and, like chicken. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, so it's a. It's, it's that's the this is the barbecue here, so no, you can. This is the barbecue. Oh, that <laughs> the wrong one. Yeah, this one here is the barbecue, so you can put that with your chicken, jerk chicken, and everything like that. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So. All right. Like I said, the classic one it goes with everything. Okay. So. All right. So in terms of delivery, do you deliver? We deliver locally for free. Locally, okay. Yeah, so you can shop online. Right. You can collect. Okay. Deliver, um, okay. Yeah. All right. And do, do you have like a permanent store somewhere else as well? Permanent in um, Broadway Market. In Broadway Market. Yeah. Okay. That's a Broadway Market Hackney, guys. So okay. Um, could we see a leaflet there with the um, contact details? All right, guys. So you can see this right here. She's on Instagram as well, Roxy of London, and the website is there. So definitely check her out. Can I have a copy of this? Amazing. Thank you. I'm still in Hackney at the Bohemia Market. You can see we've interviewed some amazing people and we've seen the different stalls, so much different art and craft, different foods, many different things can be seen. Now, literally in the market behind me here, you can see there's an array of different sculptures and different, you know, fabric cushions we have here which could be used for the, um, the living room. And you can, you know, the drafts and so many different things can be seen here. So I'm literally enjoying the vibe here. So it's not only stores that you can see here at the Bohemian Market. There's also little shops that you can go in, like where I'm at right here. And you can see some of these amazing things right here in Hackney at the Bohemian Market. Let me show you a little look of this shop. So literally you can see people are just looking. So many different people here and they're really liking the vibe and this is it guys it's, it's just amazing I think there's different um, designers that actually come here okay and um, they sell their sell and market their products so you can see right here we have like oils and even um, bagamit natural natural soaps so it's really amazing guys i'm really liking the vibe that i'm actually seeing here right now here at the bohemia market